And the clock is ticking on a potential government shutdown. Congress has less than two weeks to pass bills that keep the government running. This is House Republicans are divided over whether to oust Speaker Kevin McCarthy from his role. Let's bring in ABC's Jay O'Brien on Capitol Hill for more. Jay, you are a busy man this week, so let's start with this potential shutdown. A group of House Republicans have put a short-term funding bill on the table. So what's the latest on that? Yeah, shortest explanation I can give here, Diane. They have 12 days to fund the government before funding expires and there is a government shutdown. They can't pass government funding likely within that window. So Congress has got to do a temporary measure, kick the can down the road, keep the doors open in the federal government until a certain period while they can work out the broader funding discussion. And so last night, overnight, House Republicans, two factions in the House Republican Conference, came to agreement on a temporary funding measure that has a lot of partisan Republican red meat in it as well. And even that, that is not likely to pass the Senate, but there's a question of if it, if it would even pass the Republican-controlled House. There are 10 Republicans right now in the House, at least 10, who have said they're not going to vote for this CR, this continuing resolution, to keep the doors of the federal government open. They can only afford Kevin McCarthy to lose four. That's why when our cameras caught up with him this morning, he was unsure if a CR would pass. Here's what he said. The good thing I love a challenge. So every day is going to be a challenge. We had a long week. We're not we're not September 30th yet. But the one thing I'll tell everybody, um, I've never seen anybody win a shutdown. You only put the power in the hands of the administration. We just have to get together, figure it out, and move forward. Good thing I love a challenge. This is going to be a challenge is how he began those remarks there. Again, as you said, the clock is ticking. There's not a lot of consensus in the Republican conference as to whether or not this CR could pass. And even if it does pass the House, there is virtually no possibility in which that passes a Democrat-controlled Senate and gets signed by the president. So the reality is there's still a lot of work that needs to be done up here on Capitol Hill in order to avoid a government shutdown by the end of the month. All right. Uh, Jay, Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace says everything's on the table in this funding battle. Uh, but she also says she expects a shutdown. So what are the next steps? Well, right now, if there isn't some kind of a deal between Republicans and Democrats in the two chambers of Congress, you're hurtling towards a shutdown. And the reason why is somewhat of a little bit of what I described, is you've got to pass some kind of stopgap funding measure to keep the doors open in the House and in the Senate, and then the president has got to sign it. So there's got to be bipartisan agreement on the measures in that CR. Right now, the one that Republicans agreed to last night has big cuts to federal spending, except for defense, the VA, and the Department of Homeland Security, but it also has got hardline immigration stances in it. So it's likely dead on arrival in the Senate, so there's got to be more of a deal to be done to avoid a government shutdown. All right, Jay O'Brien on Capitol Hill, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.